try that try. one. Here you go, Quentin. Hmm. Hmm. Bigger. Deeper. Quentin, welcome. Hey. Paul here at Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. We're checking out a couple of new tailors. Hmm. So, Quentin, these are not um, like a limited run, special run. This is the new 500 series, okay? Remember uh, a little while back, we redid the 700 series, which used to be a Rosewood guitar, and then they turned it into like an Alcoa. This one, so what's happening, I think, in the world is, um, you know, the 500 series is normally a mahogany back and sides, okay? So just in general in the world and all over and, you know, there's, there's supply chain issues. Right, right. And, uh, and just other issues too, you know, just yeah. uh, forestry issues and stuff like that. So Taylor, as always, um, seems to lead the way and, you know, find new ways of recreating guitars and coming up with new wood. And uh, this is what they've done with the 500 series. So we have a 512 and a 514. So just different body shapes. We all know them. Grand Concert, Grand Auditorium. Uh, they are calling this Urban Iron Bark. Hmm. Okay, so what is Urban Iron Bark? Well, it's probably some fancy name for some other... You know how the plants and trees have all those crazy wacky names, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So Iron Bark uh, it is in Southern California. It is... The weird thing is, so for for me on this, I'm trying to figure this one out. It's not really a replacement for the mahogany series. So the 500 series now is not going to be a mahogany sounding guitar. What I read on this was this wood is more kind of like an ebony. It's like a real hard, dense wood, kind of like an ebony, rosewood family ebony. So I was watching a video with Andy about these, and you know, he's talking about, you know, not only is it a good tone wood, but, it, you know, it cuts well. It has mm -hmm. all the properties of, you know, that's, you know, that's the thing. Some woods probably, you know, sound great on a guitar, but maybe they don't cut well. They they have all kinds of other issues that don't make it great for a guitar. Right. Sounds like this is a good fit for a guitar, and it's grown right in their neighborhood. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> what do you, you say know. in the neighborhood? I'm, yeah. I'm just picturing some neighbors like, what happened to the tree? Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Did yeah, some guys from Taylor showed up. Yeah, yeah, they just uh, gave us a um, they, they Torrified it. tops. Mm -hmm. uh, nice new kind of <clears throat> inlay design there. Uh, nice rosette. Good looking guitar. Yeah, yeah. And, you know. I like it. Yeah. I mean, that you know, it kind of, it looks kind of like it's still a mahogany guitar. I think with the, the toning, I guess, it'd be interesting to know what. I know. I, well, I'm not a wood guy. I, you know, I can barely play these things, let alone keep my mind around the, the various, the multitudes of different woods, you right. know, you're just in the types of spruces between yeah. Inglemans and Sitkas and yeah. Adirondacks and this and that. And then you got, well, you got your regular mahogany, then you got your synchro mahogany. And then, I know. And now you're going to throw in iron wood, which... Iron bark. Iron bark. Um, I'm just curious what type of wood that is, like what f family of, of I tree mean, that comes know. from. In but, all reality, you got to pick up a guitar, you got to play it, you, you got to go, I like this guitar. Yeah, I mean, the truth and is, I am I have an idea. I make associations between the woods, like back and top woods, and yeah. I'm like, I think this is what I would be attracted to, but right. it really does ultimately come down to what I hear when I play guitar. It could yeah. be made out of, you know, whatever. Balsa? Uh, yeah, balsa would yeah. be, if, if it sounds good, I'm, I'm going to want to play it. Yep. Um, but I I, like you say, I think it's, it's great that Taylor, uh, in their own backyard, or, or seeking out the sustainable because I, yeah. I want, I I like to know that guitars will continually be totally. available, notwithstanding right. uh, constraints on certain supplies yeah. of of the requisite materials. Yeah. But going back to Taylor, uh, you can already imagine what I'm going to say about playability. Yep. So I'm, I'm just going to skip that part. It's buttery. Yep. It plays really nice, and it's got a nice tone. You know, it's yep. not it's not going to be. It's not going to be what I expect from something back here, you know, like that. But it's going to have a great tone, and as we always say, the tailors shine uh, like few others um, when you plug them in. And down it. Try the. We'll do a little side by side at the yeah, end we'll too, see. but um, I can hear the difference. That one sounds bigger. Yeah. Yeah, 
I like it. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Can't go wrong. The new, new 500, 500 series, series with iron bark. Iron bark. Yep. Urban iron bark. Urban iron bark. Urban iron bark. Mm-hmm. So that's it. That's um, that's the new 500 series from Taylor, and nice. uh, they're available at Music Villa. Check us out. Musicvilla.com. Yep. Come on down. Mm-hmm. Meet Quentin. He's here sometimes. Yep. Sometimes. All right. Meet Paul. He's here all the time. I'm here all the time. Yes. <laughs> Quentin, thank you. You bet. All right. Thanks for watching.